I'm, so I don't get it. I make sure I provide everything we need as a family. You don't work. What's so difficult in being a housewife? <sighs> Okay, my name is Joseph Benjamin. I'm an actor, TV presenter, professional voice of artist, photography model. Uh, for those who don't know, I do music as well. I'm from Kogi State. Um, what else? Um, I'm 35 years old. I love my. I love what I do. <laughs> Do I have to remind you that Ken Abba, the managing director of Hills Oil and Gas, does not eat stale food? Have I ever given you stale food before, Ken? You know, for some people who know me from back in the day, know I have done my time, right? So basically what people are seeing now is a result of, of hard work, perseverance, and patience, right? Um, it didn't just kick off like that for me, right? But the good thing is that the way it kicked off, it kicked off on a pedestal that is large and huge, and that's what everyone saw, you know? So it, it's the thing, it, 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 it's the thing of timing, right, and patience, because I know I started from way back, you know? I remember the first movie I starred in was in 1993, right? I started acting from as far back as Tills by Moonlight, right? So this is like, I've been in the system for a bit, you know? But like I always tell people, um, you'd have to wait for your own time. You'd have to wait your own turn, you know? You'd have to wait and just keep persevering and keep doing what you know how to do best, you know? Because when that opportunity will come, it'll come. So it's not just a thing that just happens suddenly, you know? I've been there. I've been there for a bit, all bit, like, you know, hadn't gotten that um, claim to fame up until when it started coming. Yeah. And I'm left with this. Dirty dishes. But I am not complaining. But I am. You need help. To cook for me? To take care of me? I'll do the cooking. To tidy up. Born into a family of four, I'm the second of four kids. I have three siblings. Um. I grew up pretty much a bit around Nigeria because I was born to, I was raised by my stepfather who is um, Dutch from Holland. So pretty much my, my two younger siblings are mixed race, that's so half class, what you call half class, they're mixed race. I came, like I said to myself, I was coming in to set a standard and that standard was professionalism should be brought back into play and um, I want to raise the bar. That was my, my joker. Let me raise the bar. Let me come and bring forth something, um, a different edge to this thing. And people will see that, oh, wait a minute. That's, so it's, it, it's beyond um, your face being known, but it's like a, like a white man would say, it's not how far, it's how it, well, it's not what you possess, it's what you can do. So I brought that edge to make me like, it's beyond being a known face. You can, you can be an unknown face, but I've got amazing talent and you can do and get the job done. I brought that edge in that sense to the system because a lot of people have known me from TV series and all those things and all, not really a lot in movies at that point, you understand? From when I started doing movies and all, you know, I'm like, okay, this is what I kept your pioneering quality standards quality let us up the ante let us make things look a bit more better let it be you know because the international community had their eyes they've always they've had their eyes on us on our system here yeah so it had to represent and i know one i enjoy doing a lot is music i love music days when all seemed like it was gonna fade away Oh yes, it seems so. S D I M, oh yeah. S D I M. Now listen to my story, yeah. Okay, that's it. A lot of people say there's no place like home. 
But at Limelight Hotel and Suites, we have a place that's just like home. Limelight Hotel and Suites is located in the serene and homely countryside of Agoyewoye, Ogun State. Limelight Hotel and Suites offers you nothing but the best in hospitality and facilities that you will not find anywhere. We have three bars, an oriental restaurant with a guarantee of uninterrupted power supply, and reliable internet facilities, not forgetting our ATM machines and POS terminals to give you the ease of cashless fun. Come relax and retreat into the calm embrace of Limelight Hotel and Suites. For more information, log on to www.limelighthotel.com or email us on info at limelighthotel.com or call us on 0807-097. What the feeling? I am Joseph Benjamin. And I'm Adora Ole. Welcome, Welcome to, to MTM Project, Project Fame West, West Africa. Africa. Project Fame did a lot to my career. I will honestly say it, that it did a lot to my career. Because it, it was sort of like a re uh, introduction of Joseph Benjamin into the system again. You know, it, it gave a lot of boost to my career. It was an amazing platform. Um, why so? It's because it, it, uh, the reach was beyond Nigeria. You understand? Project Fame is. is um, a cult, sort of a pan-African kind of thing, you know, it's not just, as I see we have contestants from Sierra Leone, Ghana, Liberia, you know, so the reach was beyond Nigeria, so it was a good, it was a good platform for my career, so it gave my career a lot of boost. Alexander Forbes to present the envelope with the names of the contestants with the least number of viewers votes for this week. Thank you very much. Can I have it? All right. Tonight, does this envelope contain the names of the five contestants with the least the Nigerian movie industry is thriving. The Nigerian movie industry is growing. Uh, it's not where it was a few years ago. A lot of change has started happening. Um, a lot of people are paying a lot more attention to professionalism. A lot of people are pioneering a new growth. There's a new Nollywood right now that is is actually elevating the Nigerian movie industry right now a lot more people are paying attention to what we do corporate bodies are willing to support and you know and be part of our system because you see it's 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 it, it's it's an avenue it's an industry that creates job opportunities it's an industry that that financially can can grow can thrive beyond what it is right now if a lot more um, investments can come into it. Take you down, no, 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 listen to me. My father has done us a world of good. The children go to the best school in town. Boarding school. Okay, yeah, fine. Go to the best cities in the world for vacation. Look at what we've had. Um, investments. Um, we, the system needs money. Do you know the reason why the uh, American movie industry has grown to where it is? It's because the government had a major input into the industry. The government supported the industry and said, okay, fine, this is this is an avenue for people to see us. This is an avenue for people to be able to, to understand and recognize America and know who we are for what we are and all of that. And the government saw it's an opportunity. This creates investments. I mean, this creates job opportunities for people. Let us invest into the system. And that's why it, it, it's, that's why it's the largest, it's the biggest in the world. So investment, and we need a lot more professional hands coming on board. You know, mediocrity has to take the backstage. It's gradually fizzling out. It's you know a lot of a lot more um, professionals. A lot of people go you know get trained and you know for these things and all. A lot of professional cinematographers, directors, and all of that. You know, no 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 half baked sessions and stuff anymore. You, you, a lot more people are are, are seasoned. In the job, so uh, that's those are part of things that we can be changed, and it's coming. And a lot more investment from the copper bodies. If a producer gets a seventy or hundred million naira grant from a copper body to do a good movie, the end product of that grant will obviously justify the grant because there's a lot we can achieve here. There's a lot of professionals who are willing you know to do things that will elevate the brand Nollywood 
you know, but they don't have the right investments. That's why sometimes you see a lot of movies where people call um, half to big sessions because you know it's it's um, it lacks details sometimes lacks content and all of that but you know the people who just want to say okay let me just do this let me just let me let me do something you know let me have the script let me let me shoot my film and all of that some of them as most of them are self financed whatever you're doing right now if you've not gotten a break, don't worry, not to worry. Just keep upgrading, keep investing, you know, keep building and developing your craft, your talent, whatever it is. And because you never know when the opportunity will come for you to exhibit and showcase that thing you have. Even if it's a small window of opportunity you get, put your best foot forward. Because you never know that small window of opportunity might be what will bring the bigger opportunity because you don't know who's watching. Hi, I'm Joseph Benjamin. Keep watching Hits African Screen. Everything you need to know about entertainment in Africa. Your favorite celebrities, all of the juicy gist. Keep it locked in here. Yes, you got today, I